Welcome to the installation video of Hoi Miles HMS 1000W2T. In this video, we will guide you step by step through the installation procedure and demonstrate how the Wi Fi integrated microinverter enables direct data transmission and monitoring. The video is composed of five sections overview, installation preparation, microinverter installation, network configuration, and plant creation. You can refer to the user manual if you need more information. Please note that installers should be sure to review the quick installation guide and this video carefully before installing. In this video, we will guide you through the procedure to install a 1 kW balcony PV system. The system consists of 1 HMS 1000W2T microinverter, 1 HMS plug and play cable, and 2 solar panels. First of all, let's take a look at the HMS 1000W2T microinverter. In the center of the silver panel, you can find the parameter label, beside which is the Wi-Fi SN label and Wi-Fi AP initial password. The lug on the right side is the Wi-Fi antenna. The AC ports can be found in the lower left corner and lower right corners. The cable and connector in the upper right corner of the inverter constitute the AC output. The hole in the middle of the handle is for the ground wire. On the rear panel of the microinverter, there is an LED light that displays its running status. Now, let's take a look at the tools that we are going to use. For installation tools, we need an electric screwdriver, diagonal cutter, torque wrench, and steel tape. For ready-to-use materials, we need M8 bolts, metal cable ties, marker pen, for microinverter accessories, we need HMS plug and play cable, DC extension cables, and HMS disconnect tool. For personal protection equipment, installers should wear overalls, gloves, helmets, and safety ropes. Now, we come to the installation of the microinverter. Before the installation begins, Please determine and mark the appropriate mounting location of the microinverter according to the drawing. Step 1. Fix the screws at the predetermined place on the rail and hang the microinverter onto the screws. Please note that the side of the microinverter with the parameter label should face outwards. Tighten screws and secure the microinverter in place. Peel the removable SN label that is near the microinverter antenna. Affix the SN label to the corresponding location on the installation map. Keep the default password of the Wi-Fi access point of the microinverter for future use. Next, connect the microinverter to the PV modules. Place the PV modules above the microinverter and fix them onto the rack. Mark the location of the mounting rack on the balustrade according to the system plan. Move the mounting rack to the marked location and fix it. Please determine whether the DC extension cable is necessary based on your situation. In our case, extension cables are needed for some modules. Connect an extension cable to the microinverter first, and then to the PV modules. Repeat the above operation on the other PV module. Firstly. Connect one end of HMS plug and play cable to the AC connector of the microinverter until you hear a click sound. Then, connect the other end of the HMS plug and play cable to the socket outlet and fix the cable with metal cable ties. Wait for 5 minutes and the system will start generating power. Check the LED light to ensure that the microinverter is functioning properly. Don't forget to go through the checklist to see whether the installation is complete. Next, let's come to the data checking and microinverter monitoring. Please update your S Miles installer app to the latest version first. Hoi Miles provides two methods to view data and monitor the operation of microinverters. The first is direct connection. This allows immediate access to microinverter information and control without the need to create a power plant. Start the S Miles installer app and then tap the No Account button in the lower left corner. Tap Enter 
and you will be directed to the WLAN page. On the WLAN page, select the hotspot of the microinverter and configure the network connection as instructed. After the hotspot of the microinverter is successfully connected, you will be directed to the dashboard page. Before you viewing the data, a reminder will pop up asking you to reset the microinverter Wi-Fi. Tap DTUAP password setting to go to the reset password page and fill in the information required. Then tap send to DTU to finish the password reset. This setup will take about one minute. Please be patient. Once you successfully connect to the microinverter's hotspot, you will be directed to the overview page. On the overview page, tap the setting icon to go to the device setting page. Tap the alarm button to access alarm codes, alarm data, and troubleshooting suggestions. DTUAP password setting button and you will be given access to set the AP password. Tap power adjustment to adjust the active power. The second method is remote connection. The remote connection method allows monitoring and control from anywhere and at any time. Start the S Miles installer app and then tap the No Account button in the lower left corner. Tap the Register button to go to the Register page. Fill in the registration form and then tap the Register button below. Type in the username and password. Click Login and you will be directed to the Plants page. Click the O and M icon at the bottom of the page. And then click the Network Configuration. Then the app will alert you that Wi-Fi is not connected. Click Go to Set to redirect to the WLAN page. On the WLAN settings, select and connect to the hotspot of the microinverter, return to the O&M screen and click Network Config icon. On the Wi-Fi settings, manually input the name and password of the Wi-Fi to be connected, and then click the Send to DTU button. The network configuration takes about one minute to complete. Please wait patiently. Now, we're going to start plant creation. Let's go back to the plants page. Click plus sign on the upper left and start building your plant. First, you need to fill in the name of your plant and other basic information. Please avoid duplicate plant names. Then select the plant type and enter the capacity of your system. Please note that the plant type cannot be changed once it is created. So please select one that suits your installation situation and the installed capacity. Next, select your time zone. Please make sure you select the right time zone because a wrong one will affect the display of your daily power generation. Then select the area where your power plant is located. The map will automatically locate your current area. You can locate the area either by dragging and zooming the map with gestures or by manually entering detailed address information. Then choose your region. You can upload a picture of your plant if you want to add the cover. Click Next to add devices and set layouts. Click Add DTU and add the DTU serial number. The serial number can be entered manually or added by scanning the barcode. Then click the Finish button below. Fill in all required information and then click Next to complete this step. Then we can move on to lay out your plant. You can change the array name. Fill in the azimuth and inclination of your modules and then select the layout pattern. Click Save and enter the PV module layout interface. Adjust your modules according to the actual installation and click Next when the layout is complete. Upload the installation map of the power plant or you can also directly click Next to start more settings of the power station. Fill in the rest of information about the plant. Set the electricity price and then tap Finish. Now, your power plant is turned on and starting. Once the connection is complete, you can see the detailed operation status of the microinverters in the power plant you have just created and control the microinverters in a remote and timely manner. That's all about this video. Thank you for watching.